okay to worship the Lord. We can worship Him and glorify Him anywhere, amen. So let's just give us our praise and glory today. Praise worthy to be praised. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, the great I am. Praise the Lord.
Hallelujah. My God, I, I was walking up here back and forth just touching Jesus. And suddenly I felt the grace of God come on me. So I'm expecting God to do something that he wants to do. And I believe that we've come together. We've assembled today expecting God to do something. And I just want to remind everybody that there is grace right here, right now for this moment. However much you need, there is grace. Hallelujah, Jesus. As my brother stated, we want to open up this service with prayer. And I just want to encourage you that we are not in a rush. We got, we got a little bit of time. So we want to establish everything that we do on prayer. We want to take a few moments and just talk to God. We want to get rid of any distractions, anything that the enemy might have brought up to try to get our minds off of what's going on. Let's just, let's take a moment. Let's get our minds on Jesus. Let's get our minds on the mighty God that we serve and just allow his presence to begin to wash over you, to begin to wash over your mind. Let the grace of God begin to flow and to begin to move and to begin to saturate your being. Hallelujah. Let every distraction begin to wash away every worry, every fear, every anxiety that might have come on you, whatever you might have brought with you. Let's release that right now to God. Let's get rid of that. Let's let go of that. In the name of Jesus and let's prepare ourselves for God to do whatever it is that he wants to do hallelujah in your own way I want you to join me in prayer I, I don't want to just pray by myself but I want to be united in prayer with my brothers and sisters because where two or three are gathered together in his name there he is in the midst of them and that's what we want. We want to invite Jesus here. We want our voice. We want our prayer. We want our praise to create a portal from heaven that will open up right here and pour out the Spirit of God right here in this place. Let there be a portal of praise. Let there be a portal of God's power and God's glory that will begin to saturate the streets of Sacramento, that will begin to saturate the surrounding area. Father, we give you all the glory. We honor you right now, Jesus. We lift you up. Hallelujah. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And we've come together to take this moment and set our eyes on you. You are the Holy One of Israel. The everlasting Father. The creator of all things come together in the name of Jesus to make our appeal to you. We recognize that you alone are worthy, that you alone are the true and living God. We've come to lift up your holy name and to bless you and to magnify you and to render the glory unto you that's due to your name. For there is none else that is worthy. And we declare of Jesus in this place right now. Father, let the name of Jesus be glorified. Let the name of Jesus be lifted up. We've come to honor the name of Jesus and to declare the name of Jesus with all boldness. Father, establish your throne in this place as your people release a praise from their hearts to you. Establish yourself in this place. Mighty God. King of kings. Lord of all. We welcome you into this place. Come and have your way. Whatever it is that heaven mandates in this moment. We come together in agreement right now. And we say yes. the lie 
individual here, but it's all about you, Jesus. It's all about the truth that's been declared for ages. And we have that same good news today. We have that same good message today. We have that same good proclamation that we hold on to today. And we are not ashamed. It doesn't matter what the world is doing. It doesn't matter what's going on outside of the kingdom. We are. Father, I pray that you would begin to pour out in this place your spirit. Begin to draw us closer. Begin to draw us deeper. Father, let there be a release of your grace right now. Begin to flow, Lord God, from one person to the next, Lord. From one member of the body to the next member. We are all one in you, oh God. Let your grace begin to saturate this place. Let the love of God begin to flow like never before let your mercy begin to saturate lord god let your power and your presence begin to manifest in this place touch the hearts of your people come on sacramento we're not in a rush we're gonna take some time and just talk to the father go ahead and talk to the father let him hear your voice life and death the power of the tongue so tell your father exactly how you feel about him let him hear your voice he knew that we were going to be gathered here today to lift up his name he's longed to hear your voice he's desired to hear from his people father touch right now speak to our hearts lord we lay aside every weight that would easily beset us, oh God. Every thought, every imagination that would attempt to distract us from your grace and from your goodness. We release it right now in the name of Jesus. We loose it right now in the name of Jesus. Every fear, every inhibition, every anxiety, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We release it right now to you, oh God. We cast our care on you. We want our heart to be right with you. Hallelujah. For a moment, why don't we shift into repentance? Jesus preached. His message was repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Even so, the kingdom of heaven is here right now. So let's go out of our way to make sure that our heart is right with the maker. To make sure that our soul is right with the master. Let's take a moment and examine ourselves. The Holy Ghost is already moving. Father, if there is anything in me that is offensive to you, I want you to immediately remove it. Burn it away with your holy fire. If there's anything in me, Lord God, that's not pleasing to you, I want you to wash it away. Remove it far from me, Lord God, as the east is from the west. Any transgression, any iniquity, any sin, Lord, that I've committed against you, things that I know that I've done that I shouldn't have, I want to give it to you right now. I want to lay it at the altar. I don't want to walk anymore into this movement right now without being free from anything that would keep me from experiencing you with all of my heart. Father, begin to draw us deeper right now. Bring to mind every offense, Lord, and forgive us, God. As an individual, forgive me for the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life, and all of the things that the enemy would use, the allurements of this world that would distract me from you, Lord God. Forgive me and cleanse me. Purge me with your hyssop, O oh God. For you said in your word that if we confess our sins, that you are righteous and just 
to forgive us of all of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So we give it to you right now. Whatever God has laid on your mind, whatever has come up, just confess it to Him. There's grace here right now for all have sinned and come short of the glory. And if we say that we haven't sinned, then we deceive ourselves. And the truth is not in us. But more than anything, we want the truth to be in us. Father, so give us a love for the truth. Help us, Lord, to love your truth, Lord, more than tradition, more than the ways of man, more than the ways of the world, more than my own desires, more than my own intentions. Hallelujah, Jesus. 